I want to start off this video by prefacing that I understand that it's important for quarterbacks, especially in the NFL, to make as much money as possible, especially in a sport where, you know, your career is not guaranteed and the money you get as well is not guaranteed. But to make my point right now is that to answer the question, does Dak Prescott deserve the money or essentially the potential money he could get of $60 million a year when uh, quarterbacks like Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson um, are getting about like $50 million, $40 million, whatnot, right? And to that, I have to answer a resounding no because it just doesn't make sense and it really doesn't add up with, you know, what you know, the current market price is for a quarterback and the output they have put on the field. So what's up, guys? Welcome back to Soback Sports, and I'm so back with another video. And I just want to really talk about this kind of topic because I feel like it's important that we kind of understand why I feel Dak Prescott should not get this money. And, you know, it's not because he's a bad player. You can clearly see that he's averaging 4.5K yards with 36 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, and he essentially is leading in most of these categories with a QBR of 72.7. I'm not saying in the regular season he's a bad quarterback. He was in the running for MVP this season. And, you know, being a fourth-round pick, with pick number 135, Jerry West, sorry, Jerry Jones, excuse me, struck gold with Dak Prescott. And he's a pretty good quarterback, very good dude. You know, got to praise him as much as we can because for the slack that we do give him in the postseason, he is a very consistent, very solid starting quarterback in this league. You could even potentially put him top 10 in the league. However, the postseason, especially for an organization like the Cowboys, matters a lot. And you've seen time and time again. You've seen the first take. You've seen Stephen A. clown them because you got to be patient. They will mess up when it comes to the playoffs. And the fact that it consistently makes him right that the Cowboys failed to go far into the playoffs and essentially get bounced by essentially the Packers and the 49ers consistently with Dak Prescott under the helm and where Dak Prescott isn't necessarily having great games either. It begs the question, can he be worth this much money going forward, especially with players such as Michael Parsons that you have to pay, uh, C.D. Lamb that you have to pay down the line? You have players like... Um, like them who are studs in their position, their respective positions that will be X factor. But the quarterback at the end of the day is one of the biggest positions in the NFL. And the more consistent your quarterback play is, the more you would potentially get far and potentially win a Super Bowl. So with that being said, does Dak Prescott really push me to give him that 60 million because seeing other quarterbacks get paid? No, because you can get paid off of potential because I feel like nowadays it's that seems to be the norm because, yes, Joe Burrow got his money. But, you know, it's I feel like based off potential because he made the Super Bowl. Right. But you got to keep in mind, like his health is also a pretty big I issue at times. Um, but I'm not saying that he doesn't deserve the money. I'm just saying, like, how why does he? And a bunch of players deserve that money right now when they haven't really done anything. Justin Herbert as well. He hasn't really done much in the postseason. He has a really good regular season, but he hasn't done much to deserve the money that he get got. He is a great player. He's an amazing player. He's like a top quarterback in the league. And the thing that a lot of these quarterbacks have in common is that they are the top of their game in the league. It's just that once they get paid is what I'm kind of concerned with because if they don't reach that money, you're just paying them essentially to, you know, take you to a certain point. And I'm not saying with Mahomes in the league, I get it. Like, it's not easy to make a Super Bowl and, you know, go far. But in case of Dak Prescott, you're in an NFC conference where it's super weak and your only competitors are really the Eagles uh, which last year they were pretty bad, but like, 
besides that, the overall they're a solid team. Um, the 49ers who have been like a thorn on your side for so many years, the Packers who are up and coming, like those are really, and maybe, and you can even include the Lions as well. Like the Lions have been really good too. You, those are like your main competition in the league so far, especially these last two, three, two seasons. And the fact that you haven't made it that far with Dak under the helm says a lot. And I think that Jerry has to really understand that, right, you have done well. You have done, made a case for MVP this season. You have thrown for 4.5K. But I feel like the results aren't there. And I don't think we can justify paying you 60 mil a year and with the extension coming up. But that's just me. And I don't really understand why quarterbacks nowadays are getting paid for essentially potential. Like, they'll potentially be good. They, like... They get their money, right, but they have to do something. If Lamar Jackson, for example, right, he hasn't been necessarily, like, the sta- statistically, he hasn't been showing, like, he's a top quarterback, like, where it's, like, passing yards specifically. But he has won two MVPs. One of them you could potentially say that is very, is, like, not very, like, it could be fraudulent. But the first one definitely deserved. So, but the thing is, they've been the first seed. They've been potential. Um, They've won a playoff two playoff games, Dak Prescott as well, won two playoff games, but hasn't gone far. But the thing is, Lamar Jackson has the trophies, has the accolades to back up the payment. And the thing is, Dak does not have that either. So let to recap, Dak does not have the, um, the accolades to do so. He made Pro Bowls, don't get me wrong, but like he doesn't have the accolades like MVP. Um, he is getting potentially paid off of potential and he's only had really good regular seasons and flames out when it comes to the postseason. So those are my four or three to four like keys to why I think that Dak is really should not get that money and find another team that could be paid for the Dallas Cowboys sake. Do I think that da- Jerry will fold eventually and pay him? Probably. Be- but is it the right move in my opinion? I don't think so. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Should Dak get paid the money he deserves? Or do you think that it's an overpay and they should he should find some other team? I want to know down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.